everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Me and Elliot are heading off on a weekend away and so I thought I'd vlog and bring you along with us. I wasn't going to vlog, this might be the shortest vlog I've ever done, uh, but my sister keeps saying I need to do them shorter anyway, so um, yeah, I'm going to take you along with us. We are in a bit of a rush, so I will speak to you again in the car. We're about five minutes away. Um, can't wait to get in there. We've just stopped so Elliot can send an email because we're about to lose signal. Um, but yeah, really excited. It's absolutely boiling today. It says it's only 25 degrees, but the sun in Australia just is so much hotter. Than and the car doesn't have air con, so yeah, it's been a really hot journey. Like, I just can't wait to get there and have a cold beer um, and just feel a bit cool again. Um, we're nearly there now, so it should be okay. I just realised, I don't know if I've actually said what we're doing. Um, we're going away for the weekend using a voucher that Elliot got bought for his 30th birthday, which was last May, and we ha didn't get around to booking it because of COVID, and um, yeah, we're finally using it, and it, we've got two nights, and it's called Unyoked, and basically this company called Unyoked are all about disconnecting from the outside world, and exploring and relaxing and like switching off so obviously I'll show you more when we get there um so for obvious reasons which you can now see I couldn't film us walking here the car's like parked up there and they give you this wheelbarrow thing to pull your stuff in but we're here for two nights so we've got so much more Elliot's got about four hats on his head <laughs> um, and then this is our cabin so I mean we are literally in the middle of nowhere which is just gorgeous and then over over there is there's a hammock and then a fire pit and some chairs and stuff so that's where we'll cook dinner so let's go and have a look at our pad Then we're just literally standing by this fan. Um, but they've got this little card and it's the summer ritual. So it says, open the freezer to locate bonus ice blocks. Admit defeat in the face of delicious frozen sugar. Linger for three seconds to feel the cool blast on your face. I don't know why I can't speak. Head out and locate big old shady tree. Find a comfy spot by the trunk. Rip open Zupa Doopies and enjoy the brain fees. Freeze. And these are Zupa Doopies. and there's this tape player in 
the cabinet in with the yoga tapes. We were like, I mean, we're not yoga people at all, but we're gonna go and give it a go. And there's like a little meditation spot up the hill, which is marked on the map. So yeah, we're just gonna go and have a look there um, and see where we go. We had such a good night's sleep. And the mattress is Koala, which is a brand out here um, ooh, that does really nice mattresses. And I'd really recommend them because it was so comfy. Um, I was also freaking out because I didn't bring my pillow and I take it everywhere with me. Um, it's like a really thick memory foam one. And I mean, I brought it over here from England. Like it took up most of my weight allowance. Um, but the pillow from Koala was amazing. I think it's about 10 o'clock, but I don't actually know. Um, and I'm filming this on my phone because there's no plugs or sockets in the cabin. There's just two USB chargers, so you can only charge your phone. And the camera battery has died already, so really annoying, because I wanted to take some really nice photos and stuff. So it didn't say, it said in the thing, don't bring a hair dryer, but I just never thought they wouldn't be like one socket. So yeah, it's kind of annoying, but we'll just use our phones. Um, so if the video quality isn't that good, then that's why. But I did get some shots yesterday, so all is not lost. And it's gone on ahead because he doesn't want to be near my phone. <laughs> um, and he's like properly embracing nature. He's just not wearing any shoes. So there's our cabin back there. And yeah, just in the middle of the field. There he is. And meditation session. I know you're in a beautiful location here um, at, with Anyot. And I would just ask you maybe to roll out your yoga mat somewhere that has you, you know, looking at nature and, um, and that somewhere that has you hopefully, you know, reasonably. So just had a shower and got dressed. The shower's kind of weird and floods the bathroom, but just the job. Um, and the yoga was actually like more like stretching and meditation so if you come to unyoked and you're not into yoga then still give it a go because it was actually really nice and we did it in a spot and it just kept saying like make sure you're looking out where you are and stuff it was really cool um and we're now just sitting around the fire playing games it did start to rain um so yeah we've just been playing we played a game of sequence a game of scrabble you read a bit there's loads of really cool books in the cabin about like adventurers and wanderers and then there was one book about like the cars they go in and the jeep is in there, our make of jeep, so we were very excited about that. Um, and it is actually down here. There it is. Um, because Elliot had to leave at, last night to do a work call, so he just brought it back to the cabin. Um, there's actually a car park, or it's not a car park, you basically leave your car, your car further up and then walk down. but. He just drove because it was dark it's just so nice actually not having anything to do nowhere to be um yeah it's really chill and as you can hear it's just the sound of like the birds are you ready to get your ass whooped Elliot? i'm winning by the way <laughs> so it's raining about outside and we decided to bring our picnic lunch inside we just thought it'd be easier to have like grazing stuff rather than have to cook so we're gonna sit here i mean look at that view mm -mm. is it good the clouds are really low out here it's so cool to just sit in here and i've got changed again into this lovely cloud that my friend cat bought me um it's actually quite warm though so i don't know how long it'll last but yeah we had a delicious lunch and we've decided to go for a walk. Um, in the book it says to walk to the bottom of the hill and then cross the river. So, oh God. It's actually quite scary walking through grass like this because there could be snakes and God knows what else. Just found a burrow. We think it's a wombat burrow. Oh, oh my God! Elliot! <laughs> um, there's our Kevin up there. That really scared me. <laughs> I don't know, the water looks pretty clear to me, mate. <laughs> you go across first. Oh, 
Okay, how much would someone pay me to just push him in right now? <laughs> I really want to. It's just probably going to be really cold. <laughs> that little hair wash, did you? Yeah, wash washed me hair. Oh! <laughs> Yay, made it! <laughs> we were just taking our shoes off and Elliot found a leech on his ankle and then I looked down and there was like three on my feet. Um, oh my God, it's given me the heebie-jeebies thinking about it. So I literally just threw my trainers off and we had to pick them out and Elliot put it on the wall. Go on. Oh my God, they're horrible things. Oh! So now I'm just like every every time I like hear a noise, I'm just jumping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really rainy. Oh my god, look how shiny I am. It's so blooming humid. Um, it's raining again, so we've got back. I think it's like half three. We're gonna play another game of sequence and maybe have a glass of wine. We just got these out of the freezer. We call them, I'm sure we call them ice pops in England, but they call them icy poles in Australia, which I find so weird, but I guess that's what they are. Um, they're, they're called Zupa Dupas, and apparently they're like, what was the brand of the ones in England called? Oh my God, I actually can't cope. I, I was, we was sitting out here playing cards and I was like, oh, I hope there's not a leech on my foot again. And I just didn't feel anything, but I looked at my foot and it was in between my little toe and my second toe. Oh, I'm now sitting on my feet. Maybe I've got really nice blood. <laughs> and weirdly enough, the book I'm reading is about vampires. So this is all a bit weird, but yeah. Oh, um, we just lit the fire for dinner. And we're having like a coconut turmeric salmon. We got it in HelloFresh. No, it was Marley Spoon, which is um, a bit like HelloFresh, but out here. Um... And we've just made it ever since because it's so easy and so nice. Um, so we're having that and with rice noodles and then we've got some red wine and we've got marshmallows for after on the fire, which is obviously the best bit. I was really hoping to see, do some, like see the stars because we're so far out of the city. The sky will be amazing, but um, yeah, it's been really cloudy today. So I don't know if we'll be able to see any. Although there's blue skies in the distance over there. You can see just through that, it's like blue. So we might be in luck. It's funny how quickly the weather can change. Like yesterday we arrived and it was baking hot. And then today it's been like this. It's at, we were saying it's actually quite nice that it's not been really sunny because when it's really sunny, like we all, we're the same. Like I always feel guilty for not being in the sun when it's sunny. I don't know whether that's just because we're British and we're not used to there being sun as often as there is here. So like when it's sunny at home, you just stop everything and go and sit in the sun at the pub or you go to a park or like you just want to be in it whereas here it's like people go about their, their normal life because it's sunny all the time so yeah it's funny um it's quite nice that it hasn't been as good weather today because we've just not felt guilty for laying in bed reading and and it had a nap and just like not doing anything just caught this leech on my foot oh my god look at the size of it That is proper cooking on a fire. We're having turmeric coconut salmon with some rice noodles. And a nice glass of cab sav. It was $7 from Aldi, so. <laughs> we love Aldi, don't we? We really love Aldi. Cheers. <laughs> For seven dollars from Audi, that is not bad. That is probably the most rainbowish rainbow I've ever seen. Perfect, isn't it? And you, it's so clear. It's beautiful. Gotta do it louder. As loud as you can. <gasps> Woo! Oh, it's 
Good morning, it's Sunday morning and we've woken up to a beautiful sunny day and we thought we'd make breakfast on the fire this morning. So, oh my God, I do not look my best right now, but this is basically camping. It's absolutely boiling. I don't know where I'm, where I'm, why I'm wearing long sleeves. Um, but last night we watched the stars and it was so nice and we did marshmallows on the fire. We have to check out at 11, so we're going to eat and then just chill for a bit, maybe play a game and then head off. And breakfast is served. <laughs> just left on Yoked and driven probably like 15 minutes and we've just found a cafe so we're going to stop here. Elliot is admiring a motorbike which is literally how he spends most of his days. <laughs> They're literally the size of your head. <laughs> I'm videoing you. <laughs> We just stopped at this little cafe, look how cute it is. We decided to stop somewhere on our way home, not go straight back to Sydney. So we stopped at a place called Long Jetty, which is on the central coast. And um, we're just gonna go and have some lunch and there's some like nice homeware shops. So no doubt we'll be buying something. It's really pretty. We actually drove through here once before when we went camping. I think it was last January we went out. Um, and it was raining and it didn't like, I just didn't really think anything of it. And now it's really sunny, it's just really pretty. So it's very beachy, which I like. So yeah, we're gonna have a little explore. Elliot insisted on walking on the long jetty because we're in long jetty. Um, Don't go to Long J and not walk in the Long J. <laughs> well, you can.